Hello scientists and welcome to the video on solubility. So let's get started. What is solubility? Solubility is the ability of one substance to dissolve into a liquid substance. Solubility is a physical property of matter. This means that we can use it to help identify substances. So what happens when something dissolves? When something dissolves, the substance breaks down into tiny, microscopic, pieces. Let's take a look at the example. So here, if we put a sugar cube into water, you might notice it at first, but soon, you won't be able to see the particles of the sugar. That's because the sugar molecules are being broken down so small and mixing in between the water molecules that you won't be able to see them. That doesn't mean that they're not there. It just means they're too small to see. This is called a solution. And in our case, or in this example, it is a sugary solution. You might be more familiar with solub solubility than you think. Here are two common examples. The first happens at the beach. Salt and sand have different properties. Salt is soluble in water. So for instance, when you are in the ocean, if you've ever been to the ocean, you know that there's salt in there because it tastes salty. And if you get it in your eyes, it burns, right? But we can't really see the salt but it's there. So salt is soluble in water. On the other hand, sand is not soluble in water. If it were, there would be no beaches, right? Because as soon as the water from the ocean or the lake washed up on the shore, then the sand would dissolve and there wouldn't be any beach left. And then where would we go on vacation, right? So in this case, sand is not soluble in water. The term that we use for this is insoluble. So sand is insoluble in water. Now it's getting colder out and we're probably drinking more hot chocolate, right? So hot chocolate is another example of solubility. So first we heat up the milk and then we put the solid, which is the cocoa mix, into the milk and we stir it up. Now the solid mixes in between the molecules in the milk and then we are left with a delicious warm cup of hot chocolate. So, hot, so cocoa mix is soluble in milk. All right, there are a few terms that you need to know to understand solubility. The first term is for the substance that goes into the liquid. This substance is called the solute. The liquid that the solute goes into is called the solvent. And finally, I mentioned this word before, and it is the product that is made when the solute dissolves into the liquid. This is called the solution. Let's wrap it up. Here's one thing that I want for you to take away from this lesson. 
Whether or not a substance is soluble really depends on the substance and the liquid that is, it is being tested in. Let's, uh, let's draw an example here. So I would like for you to draw two beakers. Okay. This one we're going to say has water in it. This one is going to have oil in it. And I'm going to get fancy and I'm going to color them in. So if you have some colored pencils, you could color it in as well. So this is salt and this is vegetable oil that you would cook with. Okay. So if I add the salt to the water and I stir it around, salt will dissolve. That's the term that we use. I'm going to add that in here. Uh, let's see. We'll do that again. into tiny little particles that we cannot see. So the term that we could say is that salt is soluble in water. Now if we do the same exact thing, but instead we put the salt into the oil, you're gonna notice the salt particles floating around in the oil. And probably they're gonna settle on the bottom. So salt, does not dissolve in oil. And when a substance does not dissolve in the liquid, we say that it is insoluble. So solubility is really a property of matter. All right, time to review your notes and write the answer to the lesson question. It was a lot of information, but I just want for you to write the answer to one question. And that question is, what is solubility? Now, and a little note, we're gonna talk more about this, but dissolving is not the same as melting. All right, looking forward to doing some labs continuing our investigation of the property of matter called solubility. Stay tuned.